Do you like space sci-fi, bizarre creatures, mysteries and secrets, and an engaging plot with great characters? Well, I have a great recommendation for you. So my people, how are you? I hope you're doing well, I'm the Monio, the interdimensional demon who talks the most about sci-fi animations on YouTube, and you're on my channel. Scavenger's Reign is an original space science fiction series available on HBO Max, about a group on a cargo ship, who, after facing a catastrophe, the survivors are thrown onto an alien planet, and they have to survive in this hostile place. The entire space part of the series is very reminiscent of the game Dead Space. The entire hostile planet where the survivors are is very reminiscent of the Primal series, by Jenny Tartakovsky, only without the dinosaurs, and the strangeness and mysteries of that planet, are very similar to the things we see in the film Annihilation, the one with Natalie Portman, it's not a great film in my opinion, but it was what I could recognize as a reference. The idea of the series is initially very simple, but the way it is executed is very captivating and interesting. The series begins about three months into the survivors' stay on their new alien world, but things quickly become more dangerous for the group as they are forced to leave their camps due to dwindling resources. The alien planet is extremely dangerous and unforgiving, and tests the survivors with every step they take. The best creative choice is to show the different levels of experience among the survivors, a group is working together with the alien scenario. Another is desperately clinging to human technology. Yet another fills a creature niche to which humanity should not belong. The alien life encountered by the survivors seems just that alien. Often with these types of animations, designers are not creative enough to develop a life that actually looks strange, but that is not the case with this animation as everything looks strange. From the landscape to the food to the creatures, everything is a danger, even the creatures that seem most harmless can threaten the lives of the survivors, and this constant feeling of danger makes everything more interesting and unpredictable, as some characters actually die in the process, during their journeys, and some in very brutal ways, showing the horrors that nature can offer. Scavenger's Reign also does an incredible job of emulating the strange idiosyncrasies of nature and how certain organisms rely heavily on the most unexpected allies to survive. There are moments when the animation strives to construct, in a very creative way and without dialogue, a scene that shows a symbiotic relationship between two creatures that meet, help each other instinctively and conclude the transaction by dying or transforming into something totally different. The scene it is impactful and beautiful in many ways, summarizing the entire cycle of existence of those beings. Some of the moments that I found most interesting and unusual are those that show the relationship between a strange animal, which looks like a lizard, and has both telepathic and telekinetic powers, and one of the survivors, who becomes a slave to the will of the alien. However, it's not entirely one-sided, as the little beast reciprocates the human's efforts by regurgitating strange black goo into the human's mouth, putting him into a trance-like state in the process. And this entire sequence is very efficient both in establishing the relationship of dependence between the two beings, and in using this as a narrative resource to show, in the form of a flashback, the conflicts of the human character, and at the same time it makes the story of this character, contextualize whoever is watching about the events of the main plot that led to the ship accident. It's really a very efficient narrative on several levels, most importantly to build the characters, as you quickly become attached to them, due to the sense of survival, you don't want them to die and hope that they can achieve their objective, which is to get there, to what was left of the ship they were on, to save possible survivors and try to find a way to escape the planet. The animation style is very different from what we are used to, as the character designs are very simple, and it reminds us a little of those independent animation shorts that you usually watch at film festivals or indie animation festivals in general, and also reminds us of a bit European or independent comics, which have a more authorial drawing style, and when I say more authorial, understand that it has much more personality than conventional styles, and I think that's what defines the aesthetics of this animation. The character designs, despite being relatively simple, the animation is fluid and with a lot of expressiveness of the characters, in addition to the use of colors here that deserve a highlight, they are very vivid and beautiful colors, which give the feeling of a world where nature never was played, and we have many environments where colors help to compose the tone of the scene, 
conveying the feeling of danger, a sense of urgency, fear, and so many other things. This animation also reminds me a little of those short episodes of that Netflix series Love, Death, and Robots, in which very specific situations are created, and certain characters need to survive that world, at the same time that fantastic and mysterious things are happening, and we follow along the journey of these characters in situations that become increasingly intense and dangerous. If you've ever watched Love, Death, and Robots, I'm sure you've seen an episode in which you became very interested in that world and that reality, and imagine that that short episode showed such interesting things, that it deserved its own series, to develop plus these characters in this world that seems so different and interesting. Well that was the feeling I had, while watching Scavenger's Reign, a very good idea, which instead of becoming a short animated film, was developed and became a very good series. Of course the series is not perfect, it has some narrative facilitations and coincidences for situations to be created, and these coincidences are a little forced if you take into account that they are not in a place where space is limited, they are literally in an unknown planet, and even though the survivors crashed in a similar area, it's a bit of a stretch to think that they'll eventually be able to find each other. Another thing that undermines the veracity of the situations a little is the famous stupidity of the characters, as there are some basic rules of survival that the characters should follow so that many bad situations are avoided, for example, if you are going to explore an alien environment completely unknown, whether to rescue your companions or for some other need, you must not do this without protection, without weapons. If you are going with your ship to rescue someone on an unknown planet, do not lower your ship onto the planet, lower a smaller module and keep the ship in orbit, because if something happens, you do not compromise the ship, you do not compromise the entire crew. But anyway, these are very small defects compared to the other qualities of the series, since despite having one or another situation that is a little forced, the situations that are constructed are very interesting and different, and seeing the characters having to deal with this it's one of the things that grabs you the most about this series. The animation has 12 episodes on HBO Max in its first season, with each episode lasting approximately 25 minutes, so if you have free time, you can watch several episodes in a row without getting tired, at first you will feel a little of strangeness with this slightly different style of animation, but in the first episode, this feeling of strangeness will pass and you will be able to enjoy the series. As already said, this animation is not being talked about as much as it should, since it is a very promising series, which is getting better and better, I highly recommend it if you like the sci-fi genre, especially with spaceships, if this is your case, you can watch it without fear of regret. But what about you, have you watched the series? What did you think of her? Leave it in the comments, and if you like the video, subscribe to the channel to follow the next content. Until next time my people, Demonic Hogs.